I'm gonna put these crochets in my head. This is Model Model Twirly Curl. It's out of their um, wine curl collection. So they're all different types of curls. I was just wearing the Flutter Curl not too long ago. So I said, let me try this curl pattern. So it comes in a pack like this here. I'm gonna cut. This off that is connected to get it off the package. And I bought four packs. I'm gonna start with three just to get the same size because I don't think I'm gonna need all of these. Well we gonna see. I'm gonna put this in the trash bag. Normally, I know for the flutter one, we are only use three. But you can use four, maybe even five, depending on how full or how big you want to curl. Especially if you um, don't plan on separating the curls and you want to keep that consistent curl pattern looking exactly like how this is. So, of course. There's your loop right here. And when you split it, it's gonna look like that. So if you're not trying to split it further and make it more poofy, afro pinky curly, you might just wanna put it in exactly how it is and not manipulate it. So you may need more. Going for a real big fro, I would say definitely use the whole four and separate it some or separate some of the pieces to give you some dimension. And a little variation in your curl pattern. And I'm gonna open pack number three. This is gonna be so cute. I'm ready. See, this is what they look like on. See that? But I feel like once you separate them, they they must have re really, like twisted this. It looked like. Something look like two straight twists. Like they put it in their head and they twisted it. Cause this, mm -mm, that ain't the same girl. It ain't the same. It kind of look like a twist out tendril in the pack. But uh, not quite. So that's three packs. That I, <clears throat> I already altered my scalp with Styles by Nicole Moyes. It's one of my old bottles with the old clear label. My white labels are out now. You can order them on my website, stylesbynicole.org. Or you can come pick it up directly from me or you can also get them in beauty trends um dallas which is on ferguson road out here in dallas texas and it will be in some other beauty supply stores very soon but right now it's just in that one and available online and also in my shop so you can always pick one up um, usually i keep some with me so I could pull up, pull up on you. When you order online, it gives you the option to um, have it shipped to you or a pickup order. So if you want to do a pickup order and maybe you don't think you'll have time to get to me or whatever, I do um, deliver to people if you're, you know, in the near vicinity of me in my shop or where or my house 
Okay. So I'll open it up. Put my finger right there. Open my crochet needle. Close. Open. And after it's open, I'm going to push my crochet needle into it. Put the hair on the hook. Close it. And then pull it through. Reopen that. Pull that through the loop. Crochet really is one of the easiest protective styles to do. My cuticles are like all over the place. Um, I feel like it's one of the easiest styles to do because it doesn't require a whole bunch of work. It just um, can be a little tedious depending on how many crochets you have to put in. It's the same motion basically over and over again. But for the most part, it is really, really um, easy, simple way to do a protective stop. My nails, oh my God, I need a manicure. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And if your base get a little ratty or something, don't worry about it. You can slide that out and put a new one in. Or you can just keep going because when you finish this, it's going to be so full that you're not going to be able to see none of that anyway. And this type of hair, the more, um, I call it rattiness, or the more um, flyaways, extra hairs that you see, it looks even more natural, like more and more like a curly fro. You don't want it to be too uniform. So that's why this hair and texture is really good for a real natural curly look. And I'm gonna keep putting this in. Until I'm done. And you just keep working up the head. I go from this side to this side since I'm right-handed. I don't got time to do all of this and then have to re... No, no, no. So, I go from the back. So, I did braid number one. I have seven braids here. Wait, no. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, yeah, seven braids in, siete, and um, that's what happens when you move to Texas, you start speaking Spanish, anyway, I start from the back and I work my way up towards the front, that way I know that I'm like filling in those nooks and cranny spaces, because I do want this to be as full as I possibly can get it, you can leave a little more space in between each curl in the back. You don't necessarily have to have them like flush tight together because of course, you know, the top is gonna fall over that back area. But for fullness sake, definitely don't space them out too much. And once you get to the front of the head, like up in here, up in here, up in here, definitely from this part to this part, they should be very close together. Oh, excuse me. I need a nap. I need to go to sleep. As soon as I get done with this, baby. This is gonna be so good. And it's Sunday, so I ain't working. Oh, I'm only doing my hair. But I will be back in the shop next week with your appointment. Styles by Nicole.org. I'm mad that I waited to get dot com because it's taken now. I'm really upset. But that's okay. I have dot org. Open this one up. Ooh. And if you skip a little space like I just did, 
just put one right behind it because I want them close together. Also, too, make sure, like, if you're not just wearing this slack, because you could cut it to where you're wearing it towards the face. Um, Like, if you were to cut, like, a bang, which, personally, I think, oh, excuse me, would be a little tacky. But, um, with this type of hair, but, you know, you can make a lot of things work, depending on a person's face shape. But um, normally with something like this, it's going to be a heavier side and a lighter side. So make sure that on your lighter side, like let's say I wanted this to be my light side. And this is where it's going to hang. Probably what I'm going to do. This side definitely needs to be filled, filled, filled in. Because your heavier side, you got twice the amount of braiding space. Um, so you want to make sure that this is going to match and not like be super, super thin here and big and thick there. Because it's going to look stupid. Real stupid. Just letting you know. And then... See how fast this go. We're at like 11 minutes, 12 minutes, and I'm already like a third way done with my head. Um, the braid down really to me is, or from my experience, is really what takes the longest when doing um crochet. Same thing with sewing and stuff too. Like that braid down, if it's done right. Now, if you you know putting three braids and somebody head child we talking to you but a good braid down um can take a little time and the crocheting portion um it's like so fast because just slip your thing in put that hog around the thing and boop i ain't gonna talk about how that sounded but you know what i mean so you gonna take this, make sure it's open, okay? Push it underneath your braid. You can also push it through the braid, just depending on what you're going for, and also the weight of whatever hair that you're using. So like, let's say, let's say you're using something real, real thick. You wanna go through the braid, because if you try to go under the braid, Fresh braids, Ooh. that's gonna hurt, sis. That's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. So you wanna do it on the braid. So for something like this, we are going through, up underneath, I mean, the braid. Hold on. This is getting a little ratty, but that's okay. Especially for the one in the back. Guess I'll be laying on my back sometime. It's a great style for if you are athletic. Um, if you are, you know, in mode of your New Year's resolution. And you're really serious about it. And you're hitting that gym every day. Crochet is a lifesaver. You will go to the gym looking fire and your hair will thank you because you don't got to do nothing else to it you don't have to you know do any type of heat damage or anything to keep that this curl pattern and style um it's treated to stay this way so curl pattern and color and style all of that is gonna be the same and hopefully you have a good stylist like myself they really know how to do crochets properly to um you know cut it into a style for you if need be and also have a proper placement of your crochets so that it lay like it's supposed to lay now sometimes these we can need a problem but you know what the devil is a lie i don't care you gonna split that thing Ooh. 
it was worth it. Cause baby, we 15 minutes in, I'm almost halfway down my head. I love it. I love it. Y'all we talking about my album. I already got three poetry books out. I should write my album based on my poetry books. So much content and heartache, heartbreak, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you click on the link in my bio. Loves. I was scared to do this video because I ain't wearing nobody lashes. But you know what? Fear has never gotten anybody anywhere. So here we the fuck are. Okay. can definitely do this on yourself with some practice if you know how to braid yourself child no one is half the battle but if you don't you can come to someone like myself and have us do the whole style or if you want to try something new have somebody braid it and um, then you can try to get in yourself or use a mannequin Preferably an ethnic African American mannequin. <sighs> yes, you can get those on like Amazon. And they're really not that expensive, like $20, $25, kind. And get you a tripod for like another $20, you know, $15 to $20, depending on what beauty supply you go to, if they got them, um, you know. If you don't feel like waiting on nothing in the mail, you can do that. Um, but either way, make sure you have something, very much something. We're almost done with this side. And this is so cute. Remember I said I only opened three packs and I have a ton of hair left over. Like, a lot. I don't know how to turn this camera around. Do y'all see that? That's a lot. Lots of pieces. That's ripped to go. There's something that just showed up on my screen. It says a e-lock. I have no idea what that means. That's okay. We're learning. I am learning y'all how to do crochet and I am learning how to use my phone. Missions are being accomplished. Split it up. And I know it might seem like, oh, that's cool. Mm -mm. You fit a little piece of braid right there, a little piece of braid. Some go right there. We don't want to leave that exposed. It's tacky. It's not cute. It's going to get cheap. It's going to get thrifty. I just learned a new word watching uh, Jasmine Hernandez. He said, I don't ever got a little thrifty. We don't want to be, we don't want to be giving thrifty. We want to be giving pay, honey. We want to be giving slave. We want to be giving what it needs to give. So that's what we're doing.